balance the following redox reaction in basic solution using the oxidation number method. Starting off with, let's figure out what charges everything has. We know the chlorides are generally minus one and they haven't changed. If the chloride's minus one and we have four negatives, and overall it's minus one, that means this gold is plus three. Gold over here is an element, so it'll be zero. Hydrogens will be plus one. There's two of them for a total of plus two, that means the SC will be minus two. Over on the other side, it's an element, so again, it's at zero. We can see here, if this is going from minus two to zero, this is oxidizing and losing two electrons. The gold is going from plus three to zero. This is a reduction, and this has to gain three electrons. Now the loss and gain are not the same. Therefore, I have to multiply these by two and these by three to make the total involved six electrons. When I apply that, I get two AuCl4 minus one plus three H2SE, giving us two Au plus three Se plus Cl minus one. Now I can see there are eight chloride on the left, so I need to put an eight here on the right. Following our normal steps now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add water to balance the oxygens. In this case, it's pretty simple. There are no oxygens to balance. We move on to the next step, which is balance the hydrogens using hydrogen ion. I can see I've got six hydrogen on this side and none on the other. So I'm going to go to AuCl4 minus 1 plus 3H2Se, giving us 2Au plus 3Se plus 8Cl minus 1 plus six H plus. This is great, we're balanced, but that's an acid and we're told we are in basic solution. So my next step is to add six hydroxide to balance against the hydrogen, but then I have to also add it to this side as well. I end up with two AuCl4 minus one plus three H2 Se plus 6 OH minus 1 giving us 2 Au plus 3 Se plus 8 Cl minus 1 plus now I'm going to combine the hydrogen and hydroxide to make 6 water and this is our balanced redox reaction in basic solution using the oxidation number method.